If you had 30 minutes to hide from a nuclear blast where would you go? There's a building at the college I work at that goes 80 feet underground and has 6 foot thick inward sloping concrete walls I'll be in there. The lady that used to do my taxes told me that her daughter and family were in Hawaii when the false alarm went out. They got into bed with their small children and watched kids movies. Waiting to die. But keeping the kids unaware and happy. This went on for some time. This actually happened to me. Sort of. My wife and I were in Hawaii. Near Pearl Harbor. In 2018 when the ballistic missile alert showed up on my phone. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. It said. For a minute I thought it was fake. But why take the chance? I'd lived in Hawaii before and decided to get as far away from Pearl Harbor as I could before mass panic set in. I drove east towards Kaneohe. There's a tunnel through a mountain and I stopped in the middle. We were the second car to stop and within a few minutes the entire tunnel was full. After about 30 more minutes a friend of mine in Kaneohe texted that it had been mistake. He'd had his wife lie down in the bathtub while he watched the TV for updates. It was a pretty frightening experience. I'm not within death radius of any place that could plausibly be nuked. Even if someone decided to go up soft peeping lutely nuts on us in Australia and sent 10 nukes at Melbourne. I can't see them hitting Frankston. Cranbourne and Mornington. The three closest semi-plausible targets. I'd shelter in place. I'd probably climb up onto my roof with a lawn chair and a cold beer and watch everything go to speep. The nearest city is over 30 miles away. And it's all open country from where I am and for at least another 10 miles to the mountains in the other direction. Either I'd jump in the truck and try to make it to the mountains through the res or crawl under the house and hope for the best. There is an old building near me that has a basement. I know what boards to move to get into the basement from the outside. It's the only building I know of within about 100 miles that is entirely reinforced brick masonry with a basement. And I'm sure I'd spend the apocalyptic event chatting with several homeless people who also know about the board. We'd all survive though. Right answer. This is how my mom's friend's son survived Hiroshima. He was taking a break in the basement when the bomb hit. His classmate who was still outside was severely burned and later died. I saw some old civil defense stuff from the 50s that suggested doing the same thing. Edit. Fixed details. Pretty easy. I would just go to my nearest bomb shelter. They are all over the place here in Finland and can house up to 4 million people so more than enough room for the entire urban population. Every metro station also doubles as a bomb shelter. And I can walk to one of those within 10 minutes so I would probably chill there. There are probably a bunch of shelters even closer to me though but could be busy. You can actually walk across a lot of Helsinki center completely underground I often do when it is raining. The underground network of tunnels is huge. And all bomb proof. Finland actually has one of the most thorough civil defense programs in the world e.g. in new development projects. Property owners must include a civil defense shelter in buildings of at least 1,200 square meters. If I knew it was coming, I'd just drive away. Distance makes all the difference with nuclear blasts. I'm close to mountains in the outer suburbs of a big city. I'd drive in that mountain direction as we often have winds from there. Minimal fallout that way too. If leaving the city was not an option, I'd just hit up my basement. It's below ground enough that I think I'd be fairly safe. There's a fallout shelter in a bank about a mile down from where I live that was built back in the 60s. I'd probably yoink some snacks and a bottle of Jack from the kitchen and sprint down there. Then hunker down for a few days. If it's locked. Then. Well. I can polish off the jack and wait for the fireworks. 
How far am I from the epic entree? Is it a city? How large of a city is it? If it just happens to be where I currently am then I'd drive north. I live in a rural area so not the traffic you'd find in and around a city and at this time of year the wind mostly comes from the north slash northwest so I'd be driving away from the fallout. I'd just drive as far and as fast as I could. Nothing. I would just hug my nephew and rock him back and forth and sing to him the lullaby that his late mother my sister used to sing to him and wait for it all to be over. Both of his parents died in a car crash and I took him in. Love the little guy to bits and the bond between us deepened when he started calling me da da. From where we are. It would take almost two hours to reach a proper fallout bunker. Provided of course. That it isn't already full with panic stricken people by then. I live 20 minutes from Washington DC, if I had a 30 minute warning. Drive to Annapolis City Hall because they have bunker from 70s. In a real situation. There wouldn't be a 30 minute warning and I'd probably die a slow horrible death from third degree burns. I live near a nuclear reserve and know it backwards and forwards. There are many unlocked doors on defunct reactor support buildings that are in themselves fortresses. I was there when they took the 50s on the roof. And the walls are no less than 6 feet of heavily reinforced concrete. I have been on many demos taking these buildings down and it's absolutely insane how much rebar they packed into these walls. But I guess they were expecting a criticality event at any time back then given the wild west nature of the science. Anyways I'd go there. I'll die like an American on my feet. Flying a big beep you middle finger as our counter nukes launch from the greatest nation to ever grace God's green earth. Die you beeping commie bastards. America. After the whole Hawaiian kerfuffle something tells me I'd probably be blissfully unaware like Cha Cha was in Umbrella Academy. Just be driving along and then what's that flash? Then poof. Is Ground Zero my house? Or are we assuming that it is the place they would target if my city was targeted? If it's my house I just toss the family in the car and drive away as fast as I can. If it's my city I probably go down to the basement. There is a mountain in between me and the likely point of impact. Then I guess I grab as much food money and water as I can and hightail it away from the city as soon as possible. 30 minutes is a lot. We had similar situation during the war no nuclear danger. But constant attack alerts. So I still know where the nuclear shelters are. Easy 20 minute walk. The island where I live is littered with old German bunkers from when we were occupied during WW2. A few of which have turned into tourist destinations so have cafes for food supplies. They might not stand up to a nuclear blast but it's worth a go. ID hop in my car and rip down the highway. It's the only way to go fast without having to worry about any speed limit or tickets. And if I survive the blast and make it out healthy. Bonus. The mental hospital has an old World War II era bunker so there I'd imagine LMAO also in a real nuclear event you would have about 2 minutes lol. The bunker in my apartment complex. That's one good thing with these old buildings from the 40s at least. Local from Hawaii. Born and raised. I was getting ready for work. Brushing my teeth. All of a sudden. From outside of my bathroom. I hear panic amongst my family. I check my phone. And I received an emergency alert that read. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Immediately after reading the emergency alert. I make a call into work. Regarding a potential. Statewide impending death sentence. They understood the severity of what awaited us. 
and allowed me to remain at home with my family for the day. We all sat around the table and ate what we presumed to be our final meal. Then, over half an hour later, my phone vibrated with the second alert. Reading. There is no missile threat or danger to the state of Hawaii. Repeat. False alarm. I let out a big sigh of relief. As we knew we were no longer in danger. The false missile alert. In my opinion. Was a way of teaching my family. And other families. To be prepared for such catastrophic events. I can guarantee. A lot of people were grateful to be alive and live past that day.